Okay, hello everybody. So this is uh, my continued series of videos on building, working, programming my uh, DF robot, as you can see here. So this video, bring out my robot here. So this video, so we have a sonic sensor right here. So this video, I'm gonna connect the sonic sensor up to the board back here. And we'll connect up this vision sensor, but also from DF Robot. This is a very cool AI vision sensor, Husky Lens. We'll also connect that up and mount that on the robot. So I think first step is with this uh, vision sensor, I'll hook it up and show it to you. It's got a, it comes with a mounting bracket, as you can see here. It's pretty simple and straightforward. How you assemble the mounting bracket. So each uh, camera comes with these this mount these mounts and the connector. Nope. My screws. These are Phillips screws. So as you can see, you connect. It's pretty straightforward. Don't tighten them all the way tight. And then, as you can see, you just mount the Husky lens on the front here of the bracket with these two screws. So easy, very easy. Very easy to, to, to create the mount for the vision sensor. Not hard at all. So, the sensor comes with this connector here, pretty standard connector, four wire connector. So you've got uh, power, ground, and two signal wires. So you connect, this is key, so it's really easy, you just insert it in like that. All it goes in one way. Now, you can mount this a couple different, you can actually mount this and place the sonic sensor, but I wanna have both sensors, be able to use both sensors. 
So unscrew this one right here. It does help if you have a magnetic screwdriver. Come on. Pretty simple. So this is how you mount the Husky wire, Husky lens. Now you can do it a couple different ways. You can wrap it around, put it under, like so. I'm gonna try it. This wire's kind of long. Oop! I didn't quite do that right. See if I can show this to you. Try to get a lot of light on it so we can see. So this is a pretty straightforward connection. Power, red power, black, ground, blue and green for the signal wires. Uh, I2C. So the blue is the uh, SCL connector and the green is the CDA, so duplex. So if you can see this. And the board's pretty much laid out. I2C connectors is right there. So. Power. Ah, ground, and the signal wires. They're color coded, so it should be pretty easy to not mess up. Can you see there? So the Husky lens is not connected. I'll turn it on here. It booted up really fast. So the cool thing about this lens, it has different object so facial recognition, <clears throat> object rec tracking, ob object recognition, line tracking, color recognition, tag recognition, and general settings. I'll, I'll post a, another video about how to program the, the sensor and the robot to get it to do line tracking. But that's how you connect. It's pretty straight, straightforward, easy to do. Not too hard. I'm going to turn it off here.
Now I'm going to connect the sonic sensor. Sonic sensor has the exact same connector. Oh, I should have connected this before. It's key to So it's key, you can't mess up the connecting connection. Let's see if we can put it underneath. Ah, oh, darn it. Knocking every, hitting and knocking everything, everywhere. Sort of getting the wires out of the way. Okay. This is a little bit different. It's not I2C. Okay. So. This is actually on the GitHub page for DF Robot. So hopefully you can kind of see that, the wire diagram, how to connect the, the sonic sensor. This is actually a PDF-7 on the GitHub page. But it's color coordinated, everything's pretty straightforward, everything's pretty simple. So the key with this one is Okay, so hopefully you can see that. There's ground, power, and signal wires. Oh man, sometimes fingers are just feel so big. So power, ground. Now, the green wire connects to P1. And the blue wire connects to P2. So got the four wires connected. Hopefully so you can see that. It's like my camera's not auto focusing. <laughs> Why does it do that? P1 and then P2. So the green wire is P1 and the blue wire is P2. The, the ground wire connects us to the brown, the back row, which is the ground. And the power connects to the middle row, which is uh, which is power red red row. So it's all kind of color coordinated. The and then the green is the signals 
and that's the P1, P2. So the sonic sensor is now connected. So I've connected up the sensors now for the robot. So you can see it's micro bit. So the connecting was pretty straightforward on uh, on both the sensors. All color coordinated, pretty straightforward. Not too complicated. Making it kind of easy for the beginner. So now my robot's basically all assembled and ready to go. So the next steps will be programming and line following distance sensor with the sonic sensor and so on. So very cool. Ready for the next step, which which would be the fun step, programming and getting to do what you wanted to do. Okay, cool. Thanks for everybody for watching.